Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We talk about various things, beauty, wellness, health. Those are the general topics that I'll be talking about on this channel. Also, my shopaholic items that I purchased online via Amazon, eBay, etc. I'm a shopaholic. So if you ladies are shopaholic and you like to shop, then this is the channel you need to be tuned into because I'm going to be pushing out various videos. To my subscribers, thank you so much for taking the time to invest in me and subscribe to this channel. I welcome you and welcome to the family and let's get into this video. So today this is going to be a video about ancestry DNA um, I sent off to get my kit so that I can send my samples in so that I can see where my roots come from I have been doing a little bit of research as I joined the ancestry website and building my tree I got a lot of important information from an aunt she is the first born in my father's family my father is deceased and his oldest sister is still alive and she was able to give me a lot of important information. The most important thing you're gonna need is your DNA to link you. It's gonna link you to your past relatives. It's gonna link you to anybody that is a relative that has done the ancestry DNA as well. And also you want to build your tree. So you can wait and do your DNA first and do your tree, or you can start to play around and work on your tree if you have vital information. Now, like I said, my aunt on my father's side is still alive. She's the oldest and she's roughly 70. And she had birthday dates for my grandmother. That is to see she had birthday dates for my great grand. She had birthday dates and death dates for my grandfather my father so that is my paternal side so i was able to put in the information that she gave me she has documents and they also have a book because my other aunt was already starting to build our tree so i have put in those things on my paternal side and i have gone seven generations very interesting <laughs> opened up pandora's box <laughs> And from what I see, my DNA might come back and have a little bit of some of everything. Um, but what I do see so far from the information and the documents that she has given me, I may have England and Ireland. So that is what I see. And that is what is confirmed from her. I did have a third grandfather and he was from England. He is white. And then he had my second grandfather, and he was mulatto. And when you go through those archives, it's going to break down. When you get to their birth certificate archive, it will tell you their race, um, you know, ethnicity. Uh, you know, for back in those days, they don't put Afro-American. They don't put black. It says Negro or mulatto, and mulatto meant mix. Now, I don't know if... The mulatto family members because I have several grands that are going up like I said I went seven generations I don't know if those grands were just half white and half black or half white and Indian I'm not sure so because of that I went ahead and stopped where I was at on the paternal side um, and I think on my maternal side I am four generations up and I left it right there and on my maternal side once again I have vital information vital dates deaths and uh locations so i was able to find those people as well and my aunt-in-law has already done her ancestry kit because she wanted her children to be able to know where their dad's side came from which is my maternal uncle and it's the only maternal uncle that i have my mother only had one brother so her wife, his wife was so gracious to give me a copy of all her information so that I can link that side as well. So I should connect to those 
of her of her children in there if they're in there once mine comes back but she was so kind to give me all the information from that side so guys i have my maternal side and my paternal side already in there but i don't want to keep digging i want to go ahead and send my kit off to see what it says now here's my little kit it came today yay <laughs> and that's why i'm doing a video um i won't open it up and you know Go ahead and take my sample right now i don't want to tamper with anything but i will you know show you the things that will come into the package just in case you get curious and you want to get one it'll come with this little card here it says welcome to the beginning of your story and it just tells you to activate your kit online and give you a special number inside of here where you put in and activate your kit once your dna is, samples are taken and submitted and they get all the information they need they will email you back and you can open it up once you log into the ancestry uh site and then you go from there so and these are basically just going to show you some directions on how to put your samples in the kit now i did see that it says do not drink anything for 30 minutes before putting your saliva into the the sample holder so if you're new to doing this don't eat or drink anything for 30 minutes because you don't want to contaminate the uh the dna sample you don't want it coming back talking about you something else that you're not <laughs> and you don't want them to actually email you and say that they couldn't process your dna as well because it does take a while i don't expect this coming back to me until around my birthday it's uh june 18th i'm going to send this off tomorrow and i'm going to certify it so that i can make sure that it, it got there and then from there it'll probably take three weeks or a month some people said that it took two months i hope that it doesn't take two months i hope i can get it back by at least july uh by july 17th that'll be four weeks so if you guys have taken an ancestry test, um, give me some ideas. Uh, if you think you might know where my African ancestors were from, put them down in you know the description box because I like to research and explore things so I can pull up those names and just kind of get a picture of how those um, you know those 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 people over there, what they look like, what they resembled, and see if maybe. I might have any of those traits. I don't know what it's going to say. I'm going to guess that it's going to say I am 80 or 85% of African descent. I don't know which part of Africa my ancestors were. I'm going to guess that they were West African. I'm going to guess because that is where most of the uh, slaves were enslaved. And then they went out all over the world like like i said i did see canadian immigrants that came in to the u.s i did see um one of my grandmothers from ireland now the one that's from ireland she was not black she was white and then of course like i said my grandfather my grandfather's um dad he was mixed. He was half white and half black. And his dad was from England and he was white. So we got a lot of things brewing. And I know a lot of, you know, family members will tell you, oh, you got Indian and you got this. I'd rather just send off my DNA and get the results back. Um, I do get a lot of people telling me that I could possibly have, you know, ancestors tracing back to Senegal. I haven't heard anybody tell me Niger Nigeria, Nigerian, but give me some names, guys. If you guys are out there, hi to my my family over in Africa. <laughs> tell me, tell me, what do you think? What do you think? Drop them down below and let me know. Do you think I might be linked to Senegal? Do you think I might be linked? to molly what do you think let me know so that when i get these results back guys i can come back and see if you guys were right so so far i'm gonna go with it's gonna be 80 or 85 percent of african descent 15 percent european i'm gonna say 15 percent because on the paternal side i see european and it's going all the way from england to ireland and back then England took over Ireland. So they were going 
back and forth. So that's those two. And then on the other side, which is my maternal, I also see European and I also see a list of mulattoes. A lot. A lot. So I don't know what the rest is going to be, but I'm for sure that it should come back at least 80% of African descent. I am a product of my parents. They are African Americans. I really don't like to use that term African American because we were born in America. I like to say American, but a lot of people get offended with me saying that. But the reason why I say I'm American is because I was born in America. I'm an American citizen and I am a product of my parents. And yes, I know that my ancestors are from Africa or they could have been before that and they could have been Moors and have already were already here before, you know, and I don't know and I just want to know and I don't want my last family members to leave this earth and I don't have this vital information so my aunt is also doing her kit as well and she has a different father from my father the rest of my aunts and uncles they had the same parents so she's going to do hers as well and I am also helping her because being that I am younger I'm more wittier on the computer so I'm going to be looking for her dad I was able to find my grandmother's father which is my great grandfather and I was able to find his dad she didn't even know who her dad was and I found him so hopefully the DNA comes back and everything matches exactly to what I built so far but I have put it on hold and I did get some feedback from the ancestry group and a lot of people were saying oh don't do your tree because it takes more than 20 years to build the accurate tree. But like I tried to explain to them, we have a family book. My family has already kind of been digging so that we knew our history. And the information that was given to me is dead on accuracy. I even found siblings, aunts, great aunts, great. No, I found everybody, but I don't want to just rely on that. I want my DNA to come back. So I haven't reached out to any of the other cousins that I see that have my family members in their tree as well until my DNA comes back. Once the DNA comes back and it does confirm everything, I'm going to start reaching out to those cousins on the Ancestry site that I see. Now, I will say that I've seen a few videos that have had two, you know, kits. They'll do Ancestry, they'll do 23andMe. I don't want to do all those things, guys. I'm just going to let Ancestry.com do the work. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my results and I'm going to export them off of there and import them into Genealogy.com, I think it is. If I'm saying that wrong, guys, I'm sorry. Or GEDmatch. GEDmatch. I think those two accept the Ancestry DNA exports and then you can export it over to that and they can give you a more detailed uh information as far as maybe what tribes you were from what tribes your ancestors were from so that's what i will be doing i'm not going to be spending all this money on these different kids i'm going to let ancestry do the job and then i will venture out and piece everything together so guys pray for me <laughs> that i get some good results back and hopefully that my tree matches what Ancestry says. I'm crossing my fingers. I think I am dead on. My aunt says everything is correct. And my other aunt, which is her sister, says that that pawpaw that I found is him. She confirmed it. And he looks like my dad. So, so I'm crossing my fingers, guys. So that's going to be it, guys. I will leave the information as far as the site just in case you guys might want to check it out and might be interested in knowing your um, roots. I'm really concerned about knowing my roots, especially right now with things are going. I just want to know, you know, what I'm made up of so that I can better understand everyone. Once I can know what I am, I can understand this race, I can understand this race, I can understand this race, this race, this race, and hopefully we all can just work together because at the end of the day we're humans and we're americans and we need to stick together just like all the other countries try to stick together we need to do the same thing so this is going to help me with my journey guys so i will be back with my results hopefully in a few weeks guys like share and subscribe to the youtube channel wish me well leave me some comments down and tell me who do you think i resemble who do you think
they say Senegal, Senegalese. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I don't know. Let me know. Bye, guys.